And hello again, everyone. We welcome you to Regional Week here on WOSN. And what a fantastic way to start. We are in the Shro Center on the campus of the Bowling Green State University. Our crews will be here basically all week getting you set for state basketball. We're going to find out who advances out of the Northwest region and move on to Dayton. And we begin in Division Four as the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa take on the Eagles of Toledo Christian with Miles Holiday, the newly married Miles Holiday. I'm Randy Roberts, and partner. We have been given the opportunity to kick things off here with Regional Week. Oh, and where else would you rather be than right here, right now, Randy Roberts? A great venue, absolutely immaculate, tremendous host. And boy, we got two really good basketball teams in front of us here today. This is going to be an incredible matchup. Yeah, winner of this one is going to come back here on Friday night and get either Lima Central Catholic or Old Ford, as you see, the upper part of the state bracket. Those are the first two regions that make up the four regions. Obviously, the four regional champions then move on to the state tournament in Dayton. So the goal you see is to advance to that state semifinal. I don't think it's going to bother them to play at 1045 in the morning knowing what's on the line, but obviously trying to get to that Sunday morning state championship game. Yeah, you talk to coaches and you're like, I don't care what time of day it is. We're going to be there. We're going to play. We're just happy to be in that slot on a tournament bracket. They saw the upper part of the bracket that includes our games here in Bowling Green. You see the lower part of the Division Four bracket, some heavy hitters throughout the state of Ohio. I believe last time I counted, seven of the 10 AP top 10 teams that have advanced into the regional round here. So fairly chalky, I guess, would be the way to describe it. But still, if for those that follow basketball, those that know the teams, there's some heavy hitters here. Yeah, usually when you get to the regional, right, there are no pretenders. They are all legitimate contenders. Once in a while in the district, you get that Cinderella, right? Get to the mm -hmm. district final until their, their wishes are finally crushed. But when it's regional basketball, Randy, these are always the tops of the state. And we want to tell you that our pregame show is brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC equal housing lender. All right, partner, let's dive in. Let's start with the number one ranked team in the state in Division Four. It is the Eagles of Toledo Christian. You see there in the blue and gold coming in at 25 and one. You see their starting lineup. Talked about heavy hitters with the teams when we saw the brackets, but some heavy hitters in this lineup. This is a team scoring 68 points a game for going in double digits. Uh, you have four guys that can fill it up in a hurry, and they got all, everything you need from offense. They can run, they got experience running the point, they can shoot from out behind the arc, and they got post presence inside. This is a very tough team to defend. Yeah, two 1,000 point scores in this lineup. Carter Kester, we saw him in football getting to do the uh, eight-man state championship game. Really impressed with his athleticism, and we assume it's going to be on display here in the basketball court. And Kanye Gaston, another one. He's got an older brother, had a great career at Rossford's, made the trip here to TC, and he's given him about 14 points, five rebounds a night. Uh, Gaston is a fantastic player, and he's really battle-hardened. You know, he played a lot as a freshman, kind of went through those tough district wars against that Antwerp team that they couldn't get by, but this is a different uh, TC team. This is under the direction of Tyler Boris, and boy, he has done a great job. You talk about a coach that adapts from game to game mm -hmm. and situation to situation. You can maybe fool him one or two possessions, but he has the answer right after that. And Kalon Butler, their leading score at 18 points, five rebounds a game, went for 20 when they absolutely dismantled their league rival, Maumee Valley Country Day in their district championship game, 73-38. That's advanced them to their first regional since 2011. Butler went for 20. Another player we haven't mentioned yet, Xander Heston, who goes for 12 points, nearly 10 rebounds. Well, he went for a double-double in that district final, 15 points, 12 boards. Yeah, they avenged that early season loss to Maumee Valley Country Day. And you brought up Xander Heston, Randy. He is a big part, six foot six. And his shooting percentage, absolutely crazy, 60% from the field. Let's turn our attention now to the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa. We saw their district championship game where they knocked off Duff of St. John's 56-43 to win their third district title in school history. And partner, you can say they did it with defense. DSJ loves to shoot the three. We saw that through the regular season. Well, 
Pandora Gilboa held them to 6 at 29 from behind the arc. Yeah, and they've done it all season long. Only 26% from behind the arc all year long they've allowed. And they're kind of like the Rodney Dangerfield of this tournament, aren't they? We talked to them after they beat DSJ, and they're like, yeah, all the talk was about Delphi St. John's, and we kind of felt a little bit disrespected. Well, we come into this game, what's all the talk about? It's about Toledo Christian, right? Everything mm -hmm. Toledo Christian is going to win. So don't sleep on Pandora Gilboa. Mike Lee has this team playing incredible defense, and they have enough scoring where they can really scare you on the offensive end. You see their starting lineup there. Let's talk a little bit about Aiden Harris, who was both the Blanchard Valley and Putnam County Player of the Year, a 57% shooter, 37 from behind the arc. Gives them about 19.6 rebounds, three and a half assists a night. You and I had them early in the year when they lost at home to Arlington, right? And then mm -hmm. the next night they lost to Delphi St. John's. So it looked like they were going to have a little tough road to go. And they, people were questioning how tough they were. Well, I thought against Ottaville last week, they showed they're a very tough basketball team. They out-rebounded in their uh, district championship. This is a really battle-hardened basketball team who is not soft. They are tough. They will go get you. And Aiden's twin brother, Colin, was also first-team All-League in both the Blanchard Valley and Putnam County. Gives them another 11 points, four and a half rebounds, nearly four assists. Nate Mag is a second-team All-Conference player in the Blanchard Valley Conference who's their big inside presence, and it's going to be interesting with him. And Hesed going man-to-man -to -man inside, who's about eight points and four rebounds a night. It's a, a, a unique combination of length and quickness. The Harris twins, they will do a great job of using that length to cut off the three-point shot as they showed against Delphi St. John's. We're looking forward to what should be a good one. It's going to be the first ever meeting all time between Pandora Gilboa and Toledo Christian, it comes here in this Division Four Regional Semifinal at the Stroh Center. We're gonna step aside for the National Anthem. We'll come back, give you our keys or tips to the game when we return. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday back with you here as we continue on with our pregame show brought to you by the State Bank. Time now to take a look at our tips of the game this evening. And again, our tips of the game brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Partner, let's start with the team that's going to be wearing their visiting jerseys. That is the uh, blue and gold of Toledo Christian. Yeah, not very often, Randy, do you see the number one team in the state wearing the away team uniforms, but they are in their blue, and they're going to have a really nice contrast of blue and white. Uh, take a look at number one post touches. Xander Hessen, you highlighted his ability to score inside during our pregame. 12 points a game, six foot six. And you think about, well, we'll just follow him. Uh-uh, he'll make you pay at 82%. So make sure early in this basketball game, if you're a Toledo Christian, you feed the post early, get that defensive collapse on him, then you're going to get those threes open. Number two, do not foul. Do not foul if you're Toledo Christian. They are very talented with their, with their first five, but boy, it gets barren in a hurry. Don't let that bench be a huge factor. Stay out of foul trouble. And this is a really good free throw shooting team with Pandora Gilboa at 70%. And then number three, you remember this guy. We had him in eight-man football. He was absolutely sensational. Carter Kester, KK, all the way. He is a tremendous player at 16 points a game. Shoots a high percentage at 53 points. Now, my guy, Darren Cohn, he told me, watch him on the baseline. He is a really good baseline threat, and he's a really good catch-and-shoot guy. So Carter Kester, get him involved early. And what will be some tips of the game tonight for the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa? Well, who is the third guy, right? You know you're going to get double digits out of Harrison Harris, but who's that third guy? Randy, since we've watched him, it's been like uh, guys like New and Schwander. It's been Morris. It's been Mag. Owen right? Huffman. Owen got Huffman. Foul trouble. Exactly. But who's going to be that third guy tonight? They're going to need a third score to win this game today. Number two, trap ball screens. Toledo Christian loves to run a tremendous amount of ball screens. Don't let them get action off it. Make sure that you trapped it. And then number three, Harris Mint. You want to Harris those guys out front. The length of the Harris Twins, they are fantastic. Colin and Aiden really did a great job of, sh of shutting down their perimeter game for Delta St. John's. Got to do that again. Only allow 26% of all made threes on the year. Take that part of the game away from Toledo Christian. And you see our officials there for this regional semifinal. Jason Elder, 
Bill Kane and Adrian Lawrence. And again, our pregame show and our tips of the game have been brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all your banking financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Now you saw the height of Xander Hessen pay dividends right away. Kind of hit the tip ball twice. Man to man out of PG early. So the Eagles of Toledo Christian win the opening tip. They go inside right away to Hessen. Hessen's going to draw the triple team out to Kester. Kester with a kick out from the college three-point line. That's going to be up no good. Rebound is lost on the floor, but finally Aiden Moore is able to grab it for the Rockets. Well, great job by Pandora Gilboa. Frustrating an early set. Got Toledo Christian to settle for what you said, a really deep three. Rockets trying to go inside here. Aiden Harris. Harris will double clutch. That's going to be no good. A rebound grabbed there by uh, Butler. Butler to Kester. Kester from the corner. That's going to be no good. Offensive rebound. Banks hard off the glass by Hessen. Oh, too much mustard on that one. And the Rockets catch a break and they come away with the basketball. Yeah, I don't think Hessen realized that he had a little bit more room to take his time. A drive inside, running up the back of the defender was Morris. Ball's going to be lost out of bounds, and it's going to stay with Pandora Gilboa. Now, you remember against Ottoville, it was Morris that was able to break the defense down and live in the lane. That's going to be a really bad sign for Toledo Christian if he's able to do that, especially early in this game. Colin Harris will draw the double team, finds his brother Aiden. Aiden started to drive, then backed up, he's being defended by Kester. Work this around, Morris has it. Off to the wing here is Nate Mag. Mag around the perimeter, mishandled the basketball. Kept enough of the dribble to avoid any sort of violation. And now it looks like Pandora Gilbo is going to reset the offense. Now you see Mag take out Hessen to the perimeter. And if he's able to make those perimeter jumpers, you're stretching that defense and making Hessen defend the whole floor. Three ball was no good. Now we'll have a foul going on the rebound. Looks like it's going to stay with Pandora Gilboa. Well, it's an area that has been a point of contention for Pandora Gilbo against Ottaville. They got really beat on the offensive boards, but they came back against Delta St. John's and won that battle. So if they're able to rebound the basketball here tonight against a really good rebounding Toledo Christian team, it's going to bode well. So loose ball popped up into the air right into the hands of Kalon K uh, Butler, who's able to get the first bucket of the night. Yeah, nice hands on the defensive end by Butler to get a little style and profile easy layup. Saw that previous replay or replays tonight are brought to you by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. Paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392 as the ball is out of bounds. It's going to stay with the Rockets. Right, anytime you have that mismatch right there, good recognition by Aiden Harris. He saw you had the big fella, Xander Hessen on him, so go ahead and take him to the hole. Morris with the basketball. He's going to reset the offense. Now as he comes top of the key, good job of the switch defensively. A little contact, no call. Aiden Harris with it now. Aiden trying to get into the paint. I don't know if he left it for Mag or the ball was just knocked out of his hands, but the shot's up no good, and Hessen has another rebound. Uh, Got to be concerning for Mike Lee, the head coach at Pandora Gilboa, that they have not had a free easy look yet. Here's Butler, corner three. That one's going to be in and out. Aiden Harris has the rebound. Then the outlet is for his twin brother, Colin. Colin's going to give it back to Aiden. Aiden barely crossed the timeline when he received the pass. Ball's then knocked out of his hands. And we're going to have ourselves an over and back in the turnover. Uh, Aiden Harris trying to make the argument that ball had been tipped. The official nearest, though, didn't help out with the call. Backside official said it was over and back. And Randy, this Toledo Christian defense early in this basketball game is stifling. Yeah, it is. So 2 nothing early on on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Sprunger Insurance. They've got locations in Pandora and Bluffton, and they say, go Rockets. There's Kester at the wing, holds high, pass comes over the top. Butler thought about the three instead, slashes his way through the paint, and we're going to have a whistle, and a reach is going to be called on Pandora Gilboa. Yeah, an easy call. And in fact, you're helping him out because it looked like he was losing control of the dribble, and right there, the hatchet job is going to be a big foul on Aiden Harris. And yeah, we talked about Toledo Christian staying out of foul trouble, but this is not a, a really deep Pandora Gilboa team also. It's going to be the first on Harris. Kester's going to go inside when they doubled him and left a man open. And TC 
Able to get the bucket out of Tyler Chris. Yeah, Xander Hessen, great find. Usually post players are score only guys, but able to facilitate on that layup. Four nothing years, we near the halfway mark of our opening quarter in our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Now we'll get a whistle, it looks like a foul being called on Toledo Christian in our game tonight is brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping. See them in Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Well, rough call that time on Butler. He's gonna go have a seat real quick. That's gonna be his first. They're gonna bring Silas Michael in. Aiden Morris trying to go with a crossover dribble, leaves it along the baseline. Kickout comes back to the wing. Aiden Harris will find Colin. Colin back to Aiden, and the offensive foul is going to be called on Aiden Harris, and I believe that's going to be his second. Now, a little give and go. See the overplay. Say, hey, brother, you go to the rim, I'll find you. But the ability to get underneath it in a hurry, get set, huge call early in this basketball game. Wipes away the first score for Pandora Gilboa. And Nate Walker is going to check in. A presenting sponsor tonight is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. So Toledo Christian will get the charge call, and they'll take over with the basketball going back inside Hessen. Hessen's going to have it knocked out of his hands. Right to Kester. Kester walking the tightrope to stay inbounds. It's a kick out Gaston. Gaston to the basket. He's going to be called for the offensive foul. Well, let's see if it gets set. Gaston, nice little fake. Just enough to get up in the air. And you see a great job getting set underneath by Harris to draw the charge. And how about Harris on the floor? Flexing. Yes, the call went our way. Pandora Gilboa needed a call in a worse way. Each team now have drawn a charge so far in this one. 3.39 left to go opening quarter. Teams trying to get the right combination of five guys on the floor. Haven't had a three-pointer yet, but when we do, it's an Alderman Outdoor three-pointer. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Alderman Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Boy, Toledo Christian is just suffocating. They're playing 100% denial on just about everybody using that quickness. And you see how uncomfortable Pandora Gilboa is, have not been able to get into a set. Yeah, head coach Tyler Boris was up. He wanted a five-second call, and there's a lot of dribbling top of the key. That's Walker to get rid of the basketball. And over to the wing for Morris. Morris will have it knocked away. It's a turnover. And now Tyler Chris with it. Mark Schein tells me the fourth already against Pandora Gilboa. And how about a second charge? called on the Eagles. Uh, break out the credit card because it's charge time. So you know, Christian fans don't see it from behind, but yes, KK, Carter Kester with a little forearm shove. And Randy, if it is roller derby, you're okay. But here in basketball, that is not allowed. Great call by the official. It's gonna be the first one whistled against Kester. Already the fourth on the Eagles here, still with 240 and counting. Left to go in the opening quarter in our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Rockets Pandora Gilboa still looking for their first points of the night. However, they're only down four nothing. Pass top of the key is gonna be off the hands of Morris and out of bounds. So yet another Rocket turnover. I believe four plus one makes five, if I can do my math correctly. Pandora Gilboa gonna have to spread the floor get some backdoor cuts because Toledo Christian is overplaying every single pass, right? Mm -hmm. You're going to have to take advantage of it, run some backdoor, maybe set some back screens, dribble drive after space in the floor. You're going to have to take advantage of it because their offense has just been out of sorts early in this game. So I want to thank Mark Schein. He's uh, out helping us out, giving us some numbers. He says five turnovers for Pandora Gilboa, 0 of 5 from the floor. Here's a tie-up. So that's going to be the third turnover in Toledo Christian as the arrow will favor Pandora Gilboa. Well, think about it, though. Terrible start for Pandora Gilboa, but you look up, it's only four points, right? Just settle in, get a basket somehow, some way. Their defense kept them in this as well. Here is Neuenschwander checked in. So Zach Neuenschwander seeing some time early. Runner in the lane is going to be no good, but looks like we're going to see 
our first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws of the night. Yeah, New and Schwanner dribble handoff. And then how about the quick little crossover by Nate Walker. He must have heard us. He said they want a dribble drive to get to the, to the free throw line. I will deliver. Here is Walker, knocks down the first free throw. That's the first point for Pandora Gabo. And again, our free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. Second attempt is good. So Walker able to get both. What felt like was was a big deficit is slashed in half. Kester in the corner, three ball is going to be no good. New and Schwander, it'll come away with a rebound, finds an outlet in Colin Harris. Harrison then give it up to Morris as Aiden brings this one into the front court. A little crossover move again, high off the glass, and scoring will be Aiden Morris. Now Aiden Morris was tremendous in the district, attacking the rack. But just like that, we're all knotted up at four. This is Butler picked up his dribble, dribble at the elbow, back out to Carter Kester. Kester got away with a little bit of a push off. Here's a three ball, that one's gonna be no good. Rebounds fought for, goes out of bounds. And officials are gonna confer. One kind of pointed at the other one, and we're gonna head to the opposite end of the floor. Yeah, very fortunate that it wasn't a foul by Tyler Chris. I thought he did a really good job of taking his arms off of the rebounder Neuenschwander, or else that would have been a foul. Gives it over to the Rockets. It's TC now 0 of 5 from three-point range. They've had a lot of success there this season. Now you see that little backdoor motion and the dribble towards it, kind of freeing up this Pandora Gilboa offense. Neuenschwander nearly tripped himself with his dribble, but he's able to get rid of the ba uh, basketball back to Walker. It's Nate Walker with it. Trying to hang in the air, that one spun all the way around, sticks out, tough break. Oh, it's Cody and Gaston will bring this one in. Gaston into the lane, hangs and scores off the window. Now the man with the sweet sneakers, Kanye Gaston. A little smooch off the hot glass. Hey, Gaston with those, uh, he's got the compression socks as well. Oh, he, he, if you can wear it, he's gonna put it on, right? That's right. And Colin Harris wearing his due to a uh, Football injury, now another turnover. Trying to get creative with the pass, he'll go inside, Hessen able to find his way and score. Hey, when your big fella runs the floor, you reward him. The X-Man delivers. So after tying this one up, and answer on the other end though, a good one out of Colin Harris. Yeah, great decision by Harris. A lot of people are saying, pull the ball out, take the last shot, but nobody stopped you, so take it all the way to the rim. And just five seconds left in the quarter, don't know if anyone knows this, Shot attempt's gonna go up, but we're gonna have a foul. We got a foul called on the far end of the floor by the uh, benches. Well, I really so thought, hold on here. Yeah, I really thought the foul call came after the red went on the scoreboard, but they're gonna say, nope, I called it beforehand. And this is a big break for Toledo Christian as Butler's gonna go to the line. So Kalon Butler is gonna head to the line and shoot two with no one at the stripe and the clock reading is zeros. First attempt, airborne, and he will hit the first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Gives him three points now. 89% from the line. He's just one of those guys, too, that when he walks up to the free throw line, you just in your head say, he's making everything he shoots. And he does there as he hits both Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws with the clock at zero. So that'll do it for our opening quarter of play. 10-6 in favor of Toledo Christian. We'll take a break here on WOSF. Ten six, Toledo Christian leads Pandora Gilboa after one quarter of play. And again, our presenting sponsor for our game tonight is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. And Pandora Gilboa starting out man to man, still switching up top. Uh, that switching in length, Randy, is a major reason why Toledo Christian has started out over five from behind the arc. Kester lost the dribble. Hessen had it. Shot was up, no good. But how about? Tyler Chris on the putback able to put that up and in. Yeah, Chris gives him some 
valuable minutes that time just doing what big guys should do, stay out, hang out underneath the rim. Good things happen to you. And Mark Schein for uh, providing us some stats. Partner, what kind of stuck out in that opening quarter? Well, obviously the 0 for 5 uh, for Toledo Christian from behind the arc, a team that shoots 36% on the year. Fast break there leads to the bucket first of the night for Carter Kester. Yeah, how about Carter Kester able to catch it when the pass a little bit behind him and then finishes quickly. A little bit of a snacking on danger time here now for Pandora Gilboa. TC gets the last four of the opening quarter, first four of the second quarter, putting a little run together now at 14-6. Here's a drive high off the window, no good by Aiden Harris, but it looks like he's going to be able to draw the foul. And whenever they're in, in trouble, uh, one of the Harrises will attack. And you see the clobber. The student section, they don't agree. But they're looking through those uh, blue and yellow glasses. Uh, Harris a little bit slow to get up. Let's hope he's going to be OK. He is a tough dude. I think he's going to shoot those free throws. And our instant replays again tonight brought to you by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. Pink top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Give him a call, 419-384-3392. Yeah, other than the real struggles from behind the arc for Toledo Christian in that first quarter, they're four or five, anything inside the arc, so maybe pound it inside a little bit more for them. Two for two from the free throw line, four rebounds, three turnovers. Pandora Gilboa, though, struggled with uh, turnovers in that first quarter, Randy. Six turnovers, but they're doing a great job of rebounding the basketball. Eight rebounds in that first quarter. So Aiden, Aiden Harris will get his first two points of the night from the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. That snaps the run by the Eagles. Now 14-8. As here's a ball out of bounds. We kind of banged off the uh, auxiliary scores table that our media partners in radio are using. Miles and I perched uh, mezzanine level. I like how you use perched. I mean, we're with the Falcons, right? The yeah. Falcons perch it. Falcons also do other things we won't get into. Uh, Randy's an, a Toledo Rocket, folks, so it's awfully tough for him to show up here. Three ball, that one nearly got uh, stuck along the iron. The shot there by Gaston now to make things, I'm sorry, Butler, and to make things worse, he's going to commit the foul. Yeah, I believe that's going to be a second foul, too. That's a big one. Decision not, not time now for Tyler Boris. You know, what do you do? Do you keep your leading scorer on the floor or not? And they're going to yank him in a hurry. Yep. And did not see who came in to replace him. Uh, Silas uh, Mickle came in the game. Second time he's seen some action now. You mentioned it. it's team not uh, very deep. On a good day with a comfortable lead, they'll only play about nine. Morris is going to save a turnover as he threw it right into a blue jersey, but wrestled it right back. Good drive in the lane, no good. Aiden Harris. Harris did a nice job holding onto the basketball. There's a wild shot on the other end. Konye Gaston trying to hit that one off the backboard. We're going to take a look at the Northwest Recycling replay. Now, this fast break is because Xander Hessen did a great job on Harris on the dribble drive. And then you see Kanye Gaston. If nobody stops him, he's just going to keep on motoring towards that lane. And it finally takes it far enough and gets a foul. Mike Lee, though, gave the old thumbs up to the official. Like, how? Why, why was that a foul? You know, both coaches always doing a good job of trying to get their team a little bit of an advantage with the calls. So Gaston goes to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. First one is on the way, and he'll hit that one. So give Gaston three points now. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Duffus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Second one in and out, and the rebound grabbed by Owen Huffman, who's in for the first time tonight. Uh, Got to do a good job here for Pandora Gilboa of getting a quality look. Don't want this lead to jump to double digits. Seven is kind of precarious. That seven point leads on our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton. And they say go Rockets and on cue, Rockets cut into that lead. Yeah, Colin Harris, great step through. 
And a little nifty thing he did, Randy, he brought the ball high so it couldn't get the double team on it. Kind of a weak little effort on the double team. He split it easily. Colin Harris now with four. Ball is out of bounds. It was on the baseline. Officials are going to call it a turnover. And Pandora Gilbo is able to grab this back. So who's the last one to reach in there? Yeah, it looks like it's Hessen. Yeah, Hessen touched it, or got it, but it actually touched the, the baseline. The side, yeah, and that was the turnover. Good effort on the hustle, but not going to re result in another possession. It's Pandora Gilboa gets this back now down 5, 15-10 on the scoreboard. It's a long lob inside. Nate Mag able to get position, couldn't get it to go. And Hessen has himself another rebound. At point blank range, you got to make those. Really good defense back. Finally, PG able to run. Yeah, Gaston's pass was knocked away. It leads to a run out. And the bucket there by Nate Walker. And it looks like Toledo Christian is going to call a Metzger Financial Services timeout. So we'll step aside as well. Timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419 225 6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. Time out on the floor, 435 to play opening half. We'll come right back here on WOSN. A good time out there for Toledo Christian. They're going to use their first 30 second timeout of the night. Led this one by as many as seven and have suddenly seen that cut to three thanks to back-to-back -back baskets by Pandora Gilboa. Uh, Pandora Gilboa, every time we've seen them, they had a little bit of adversity. They show their character by working harder. Two back-to-back -back baskets. Second one because of the good defense. TC with the basketball, a little unusual. They're playing with the music still going on. Usually doesn't happen a lot. Now a foul's gonna be called as Xander Hessen trying to work inside. Uh, the Toledo Christian bench is now up looking at the scores table. Say, is this Rucker Park? <laughs> is this the N1 tour? We're going to play with music during the game? I kind of like it. Adds to your rhythm. And they had to turn it off only because the PA announcer had to make the announcement about the foul. Hessen's going to step to the line to shoot a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. First one gets the shooter's touch. You know, it wasn't bad music. At least it wasn't like Neil Diamond, you know, reaching out, touching me, touching you. Could have played ACDC during no, the time. No, no, that was perfectly fine what they did. TC extends the lead now to four. One more free throw coming here, 421 to go. And that is good. So Hessen now has four. Uh, you know why he got that first one to fall in? Because he's a good free throw shooter. You look at his percentage. 82%. Like, if you're a 65% shooter, that ball's bouncing out, right? <laughs> that is not going through. That's true. So 17-12 now in favor of Toledo Christian, our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. There's Walker backing up. We'll find Colin Harris. Colin back to Nate Walker. Walker still holds high, has his dribble. Not sure how far they're going to let Mike Lee get out onto the floor to call a play. Just off the left of your screen, he is standing Two steps under the court. Here's a wing jumper. And it's going to be up and good out of Aiden Harris. Uh, release, rotation, and splash. Aiden Harris, 37% from behind the arc on the air. 100% that time. And Mike Lee, all he was saying was, let Harris hit a three against this new zone that TC is employing. Yeah, let's make that an ultimate outdoor three and not a wing jumper now. But the play in the other end by Aiden Harris come away with a basketball. Harris is spot up again, and he hits back to back. All the mid outdoor three pointers to give him eight points as Pandora Gilboa leads for the first time tonight. Randy Roberts, you know who's big time? Aiden Harris. He's big time, back to back, three balls. Carter Kester thought about the answer, instead gives off into the corner. Now works the other corner. Now he's going to go baseline Ooh. and is able to score. Oh, the old show and go. Great move by KK. Carter Kester now with four as we go back and forth. The Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Speaking of back and forth, at the back and forth of the ball movement leads to the bucket by Aiden Morris. Yeah, I had a two on two tournament breakout real quick. Nice job by Morris using the left hand for the finish. Butler trying to get into the paint. Just dumps it underneath a bullet pass right to Kester 
who's able to finish. Uh, you wondered how long Butler would be on the bench. Not very long. He is a playmaker. It's definitely a different team with him on the floor. Right now his team's up one, 21-20. Under two and a half to play, opening half of basketball. Well, back to the man-to-man. -man. Anytime you hit a perimeter jumper against a zone on the first possession, that coach is like, yeah, let's get out of that. Harris will find Walker. Nate Walker still with that dribble at the wing, comes out with that left hand. He'll leave it into the corner. A bit of contact, but back out to Walker. A new and Schwander unafraid. His three is going to miss everything and go out of bounds. It kind of came off the hand funny. Weird rotation. New and Schweiner, who was absolutely huge against Adelphi St. John's with a couple of threes that time, just kind of fluttered off. And we have time to tell you that our game tonight is brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. Call them for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. It's 21 20 Toledo Christian, the chance to add on to the lead. Last four possessions, it's been no bigger than one as we've traded buckets on each end of the floor. High low set, well defended by Colin Harris inside. Fronted the post pass to Kester. And Tyler Chris with it right now, wants to give it to, to a Hessen, but nothing there. So it's come out to Kester. Kester between the legs. His pass down to the low block is going to be taken away. Zach Neuenschwander comes away with the basketball, finds an outlet in Morris. Aiden Morris walks this into the front court. Minute 20 and counting to go, opening half. Morris giving direction. How much time can you run off the clock if you're Pandora Gilboa? All of it if it results in a layup to take the lead at half, right? Colin Harris has it now at the wing. Looking for the corner. This one's going to be thrown away. Trying to go behind the uh, Aiden uh, to his brother Aiden, I believe seven turnovers now. Yeah, seven turnovers, and that's a costly one because it's going to allow a Toledo Christian to kind of dictate the pace of this last minute. But you got to really respect the basketball IQ of Carter Kester, who recognized what Pandora Gil Bill was going to do on that set and jumped it. Yeah, 55 seconds and counting, now left to go in our opening half of basketball. We've had a pretty good one break out here. Slow start, but it's rebounded to have a nice finish, at least to this opening half. I see Tyler Boris says, all right, we have the lead. We'll let this clock run down. You come out and guard us. Kalon Butler holds high. He's still inside the center circle, that BG logo. Great shot there. Our crew. Now look for Gaston, Butler, and Kester to be the guy that initiates the offense here under around 12 seconds. We saw a little bit of movement begin with about 18 seconds to go. Butler works left side. Here's Gaston. Gaston through the lane, through the double team, draws the foul with 6.9 to play. Oh, he is quicker than a hiccup, isn't he? Watch it. Just a little subtle move of the, the basketball, and he gets by New and Schwander. And Mag not able to defend it. Are they going to get Mag on the foul or are they going to get Harris? The only thing you don't like here if you're Toledo Christian is now you have 6.9 left on the clock that PG might be able to do something with. Gaston knocks down the first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. We get one more, extends that lead to two. But like Miles said, Pandora Gilboa will get a little bit of time. Good move by Tyler Boris, getting Butler off the floor here with his two fouls. Second one is no good. It's Aiden Harris. Harris has it partially deflected. Kester will catch it, and that's how our opening half will end. So Pandora Gilboa coaches are up on the contact. Thought they'd get a call. Don't get it. We are at the half from the Stroh Center. And in our opening Division IV Regional Semifinal, Toledo Christian leads this one 22-20. We'll take a timeout and have more when we return here on WOSN. Randy Roberts, Miles Holiday back with you from the uh, Stroh Center. 22-20, Toledo Christian leads Pandora Gilboa at the halftime now for some halftime adjustments brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, 
equal housing lender. So partner, 22 to 20, what are some of those halftime adjustments? Uh, well, if you're Toledo Christian, do not jump to that zone again, right? They went zone for two possessions, back-to-back -back threes by Harris. It really got them into this basketball game, gave them the lead. You know, stay true with your man and really make things difficult for Harris. If he's going to try and dribble drive, be real physical. And if you're Toledo Christian, Randy, you're not shooting well from behind the arc at 0 for 6, do not shoot from behind the arc. You're dominating inside anything else other than a three ball there, 8 of 11. So Toledo Christian, Kanye Gaston can get to the rim anytime he wants. Let him do that, run the offense through him. Hey, you got some halftime numbers there. What kind of stands out to you at the break here, partner? Well, Toledo Christian, you were talking off air how well they shot it in their last game behind the arc, 8 of 12, correct? Yeah, against Miami Valley Country Day in the district final. Yeah, everybody knows Pandora Gilboa does a great job defending it. A tough night, 0 of 6 from the free throw, from the three line. So to make sure that is not part of your second half game, some of the other numbers, you take a look at Aiden Harris. He is the player of the year in the BBC, rightfully so, because he scores at will. Eight points to carry uh, Pandora Gilboa. They're going to have to get some contributions from other guys, though. His brother Aiden at four points. Nguyen Schwander is going to have to get going. He's stuck at zero. Nate Walker dribble drive along with um, Morris. Both have four points. That gives them their 20. On the other side, Toledo Christian. Carter Kester, a kind of a quiet six points, but he's leading them with six. You got Chris Hessen and Kalan Butler with uh, four points each, and that gives them their 22. Uh, shooting percentage in that first quarter for Toledo Christian was at 40%, jumped up to the second at uh, 57%, so 47% for the whole game. Pandora Gilboa, 28.6 in the first quarter, 50% in the second quarter. They're at 41% for the game. This is going to be a fun one. Whoever turns it over the most here in the second half, Randy, I think that's who loses this basketball game. So again, our uh, halftime and our halftime adjustments brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC equal housing lender. We're going to take a timeout when we come back. It'll be time for the second half of action. We continue with the opener to regional week when we return here on WOSN. And our game tonight brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping. See them in Lipstick for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. 22-20, Toledo Christian leads Pandora Gilboa's the final few seconds. Ticking off the clock to begin our second half of action here. You see the uh, nice shot there, the big overhead, the crowd here beginning to fill in. Expect another large crowd for the nightcap here, the D4 Regional Semifinals as uh, Lima Central Catholic will take on Old Fort. Those two winners come back on Friday. It's Lee uh, Toledo Christian beginning with the basketball to start, or I'm sorry, it's gonna be Pandora Gilboa ball, nearly turned it over. Uh, really good anticipation by Gaston to jump that action, force a scramble for, but Mag got on the floor and dug it out. He's gonna take the three, top of the key, it's gonna be no good. Offensive rebound with some contact, no good there by Aiden Harris. Now we'll get a whistle, and we'll see what the call's gonna be here. Uh, Harris goes through the contact a little bit short. It's gonna be dug out by Huffman who goes up and what a block shot by Xander Hessen. And maybe it was the foul before that that they were thinking about whistling because Hessen looked like he had all ball on that. Well, he did whistle it on Hessen. That's gonna be his first. So Owen Huffman will score for the first time tonight, and it comes from the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Second one, rattles around, drops in. Ties us up 22 all on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Sprunger Insurance with locations in Pandora and Bluffton, and they say go Rockets. Three from the corner is gonna be no good. Harris gets the rebound, nice wraparound pass to stay inbounds. Well, Antarctic type cold from behind the arc for Toledo Christian in this game. Harris with the drive, can't get that one off the window. Rebound comes out to Tyler Chris. Chris has had uh, 
decent night with the uh, big stars for TC. He's kind of uh, the unsung hero for this team. Yeah, kind of one of those glue guys, right? Does a little bit of everything. A good battle inside by Mag and Hessen. Fall away from the baseline is going to be no good. Carter Kester had the rebound and had it knocked out of his hands. It's going to go momentarily to the Rockets, but the loose ball right into the hands of Tony A. Gaston, who's able to get in and score. Yeah, nice little half Euro step to come back to the left and use the left hand. Tony A. Gaston, he is money. Puts Toledo Christian back in front now, 24 22. Minute and a half gone by in our second half. Colin Harris wanted to screen at the wing. Now he's going to back up, reset the offense. Harris into the paint, draws the contact, passing straight up. Ball into the hands of Nate Mag, who scores for the first time tonight. Uh, somebody reminded Nate Mag that his nickname is Nasty Nate, and he has been a nasty early in this second half. First digging out a loose ball that time, just using his muscle to out-rebound Hessen. Ties this one up now at 24 all. This one up no good, and now a little pushing going for the offensive rebound. A tough night from behind the arc continues. A long, long rebound, and they're going to say, you pushed off a Tyler Chris. Boy, it has been one of those weird games by the officials where sometimes there's contact, and you're like, that's a foul, and they play on. And other times, a little bit of a touch results in a foul. And our replays tonight are brought to you by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora, paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. Rockets with a basketball chance to take the lead. Trying to run their offensive set here. Both teams playing tight defensively. Yeah, it's a little Christian so fast on those switches. They're not afraid to switch everywhere. Aiden Harris gives out for Nate Walker. Couldn't get the three. Fight underneath for the rebound. Went to Aiden Morris. That's going to be no good. Now we'll have a whistle. And we've got a foul coming here as we take a look at that Northwest Ohio recycling replay. Uh, look at the great defense by Xander Hessen inside. Not to foul. And they're going to get a push. Both uh, teams getting one on the defensive rebounds. This is a... To the Christian team, Randy, they've out-rebounded their opponents by 167 rebounds That's on the lot. year. Well, both Harris's and now Mag, each with two personal fouls. Take a look at the lineup for Toledo Christian. Butler with two, and we got a whistle on the other end of the floor. Yeah, just a little tardy on that post entry. As Andrew Hessen had Mag walled off, but Mag uses athleticism. And how about this inbound? A little volleyball look to get a score for Toledo Christian. You can't ever leave the inbounder. Cardinal Sin in basketball. Toledo Christian makes him pay. It's Carter Kester now with eight. As the Eagles reclaim the lead. Aiden Harris trying to find somewhere to go. Comes top of the key. Long bounce pass inside. Walker's pass is knocked away. Went back to him, still fighting for the basketball. TC comes away with it. It's a 2 1 3. They're still able to finish as Gaston will pick up his third field goal of the night. Oh, Colin Butler, what an athlete. Gets the steal and throws a pass all the way down. And Pandora Gilboa wants a foul call on the other end, but they don't get it. Yeah, one of those things you were talking about, partner, is lots of contact and nothing. And now a dribble on the baseline is going to go out of bounds as Silas Mickel just lost it. Going behind the back. Put a little hot sauce on that one, but oh no, I dribbled off my foot like the movie Hoosiers, and it's a costly turnover. Gives it right back over to Pandora Gilboa. The Rockets walk this one into the front court. Aiden Morris with it with a give to Harris. Colin with it. Look at him, sorry, that is Aiden looking for somewhere to go. Comes top of the key for Owen Huffman. Huffman circles around, will give to Zach Neuenschwander. Just unable to penetrate and drive against this TC defense with a dribble. He had to look there, instead went with a kick out in the wing. And with Colin Harris, he'll reset it to his brother. Ball's lost again on the floor. 
trying to fight for this back, ball's loose. And Pandora Gilboa is going to come away with it. Now the officials are going to say that I believe that was Colin Harris was on the sideline out of bounds. Did yeah. slide across the line. You can see from our Northwest Ohio recycling replay. Well, if it's the summertime and you're breaking out the slip and slide, it's a good thing. But if you're sliding on the sideline and you're touching the basketball, that is a, a turnover against Pandora Gilboa. A difficult sequ sequence. And Randy, Pandora Gilboa looks a little bit tired early in this third quarter. A yeah, basket for Toledo Christian would be huge here. Right now they're up four. Been about the biggest anyone has led for a while. We were trading a one-point lead back and forth in that opening half. Butler gives this one off to the wing. Now the dribble drive. Trying to go up and under. It's going to be no good. Hessen comes up with a miss. Here's Kester. Kester's going to have it knocked away from behind. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to stay with the Eagles. Now this is something Pandora Gilboa does really well. You think you have a free pass by them, and they will back tap you. And very fortunate that didn't go to a white jersey and lead to a fast break. And again, a presenting sponsor for our game tonight is Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. There's another one that tried to poke one away. Butler's got to throw this one up over the top. Gaston lost the handle, has enough room in the lane, and the floater's going to be up and good. Yeah, Kanye Gaston is kind of taking over here in this second half for Toledo Christian. The offense running through him, and you see why he is a playmaker. Gaston becomes the first player in double figures. He has 10. Other way, wild out of control runner is going to be no good by Aiden Harris, and a heads up play by Harris while he's falling out of bounds, throws it off the back of a Toledo Christian defender and out of bounds. Now you just wonder how much does Aiden Harris have left in the tank? Now he fell on the floor, holding that leg in the first half. Toledo Christian has beat on him all throughout this game. Colin Harris goes inside to Morris. That's going to be no good. As the Eagles, Toledo Christian, get a stop. That has their, fan, their fans sitting in front of us. Pretty excited. This place can get loud at times. Imagine we'll see it tomorrow night with uh, Ottawa Glandorf and Emmanuel Christian. OG always travels well. There's one knocked away, so PG's going to force the turnover. Bounce pass is thrown a little bit too far ahead of Colin Harris, so the teams will trade turnovers. Yeah, so another first one. Another turnover for Vandor Gilboa. Really one of those things that early in the game was a huge problem, kind of settled down in that second quarter, but they are turning it over a big deal again here in the second half, already up to 12 turnovers. Yeah, that's what I was going to say, 12th of the night now for the Rockets, part of the reason why they trail by six on our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Minute 20 left to go, third quarter. It's Konya Gaston trying to direct traffic. Is this off to the wing? Chris didn't want the ball in his hands very long. Corner three is up and good by the big man Xander Hessen. Yeah, it's kind of unfair, isn't it? When you're 6'6", six, six, you can step out deep and bury it. Xander Hessen, he likes two, Randy. He likes two, but he really loves the three. And our three-pointers tonight brought to you by Alderman Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Alderman Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. Here's a turnover. Now Toledo Christian off and running. Here's Kester. That ball saved from going out of bounds by Gaston. And Kester able to finish. Now Kanye Gaston saves it and delivers it to KK for the easy two. The ball is going to be deflected out of bounds as we're going to take a look at this Northwest Ohio recycling replay. How about that action to save that ball from going out of bounds? Unbelievable quickness by Gaston. Great hands and the ability to find the streaking KK for easy two. And all of a sudden, Toledo Christian leads this one by double digits, 35-24, 29 seconds left to go in our third quarter. I thought for a second Mike Lee was going to call timeout, but you know, he, they're just waiting to get somebody in the game, and that's going to be Aiden Morris, and one of the most decorated players in Pandora Gilboa history. The 12 varsity letters in his career in football, basketball, and track. Do you put all those letters on one jacket or you get 12 different jackets? Well, that, might get do do? that might get expensive. 
And you yes. see why he's entering the game as Colin Harris is being helped off the floor. Yeah, it's kind of down in the corner in the spot where we were blocked from view from uh, everyone sitting there and then the extended scores table that they have for uh, all of our media partners and friends. Pandora Gill Ball going to get back in this. Got to get a bucket here in the last 30 seconds. Walker nearly lost the dribble. He'll get it out to Aiden Harris. Aiden trying to pull it from the free throw line. Stead gives out to Walker. His three ball, no good. With the offensive rebound, putback's no good. Third effort is going to have a foul called with eight seconds to go. <laughs> what effort by the player of the year and the BBC and the PCL. Shoots the three, misses, goes up and gets a rebound. Denied, and then this continues to go up like a human pogo stick. It's Aiden Harris, who has 10 tonight, will step to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. He'll hit the first. Free throws tonight brought to you by Lee's famous recipe chicken in Lima, Wapak, Duffus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's famous recipe chicken, where home style happens here. The second one is going to be good as well. Now Toledo Christian wanted to roll the ball and a great heads up play defensively by Aiden Morris. He's unable to finish, but it does force TC to have to turn it over and it's gonna be a nine point game as we head to our fourth quarter. A great effort by Morris. Unfortunately, couldn't get it to fall. 35-26, we'll take a timeout. Fourth quarter coming up for you when we return here on WOSM. Five twenty-six. Toledo Christian leads Pandora Gilboa here as we begin our fourth quarter. And Miles is busy because uh, we we might have mentioned it in passing. Our friend and partner got married on Sunday, and everyone giving him well wishes. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, everybody wants to know how's it gone. It's two days. It's been amazing. <laughs> Game tonight is brought to you by Dale's Concrete and Decorative Stamping in Lipsick. See them for all of your commercial and residential concrete needs. Well, does Pandora Gilboa have another run in them? Uh, if they do, they're going to have to get a lot of help out of Colin Harrison. The good news is he's back on the floor. Trying to work the baseline is Xander Hessen, and we'll get a whistle and a foul. Uh, something that I really think Toledo Christian needs to do more of, and that is a simple post entry into Xander Hessen. He makes everybody's life difficult. You gotta run a double team at him, but it doesn't matter. He'll go right through it and gets himself to the free throw line. So Hessen will shoot a couple of Lee's famous recipe chicken free throws. First one on the way is good. You got some third quarter numbers there, partner. Yeah, you take a look at Toledo Christian. They keep going inside the arc. They're 13 of 18 every time they shoot something that's not a three ball. One of nine from behind the arc. Uh, free throws, uh, six out of eight. 16 total rebounds, 10 turnovers, which is a little bit high. Pandora Gilboa, six of 23, two of nine from behind the arc, but eight of eight from the free throw line, 22 total rebounds. The partner, their 12 rebound or 12 turnovers have been a major problem. Yeah, lead back to 11 again. We want to thank our good friend Mark Shine for uh, providing some numbers for us tonight. Yeah, I was a little surprised Mark's doing it in uh, pen and pencil over there. I thought he'd break out his trusty Crayolas like he normally does. Oh, I was, I was going other way. I figured he'd have a tablet and he's got everything on him right there ready to go. He is Mr. Technology. Now we've got a little contact under the basket. A good screen by Harris freeing up his brother Colin. Dribble drive and it goes through contact. It's a little Christian. When you go in inside the key against them, you better bring your man card because they're going to make sure you have it. They're very physical. Chris and Butler now each have three personal fouls as the first Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw from Colin Harris is no good. Uh, free throw. Harris 57% from the free throw line. Missed the second one. Ball was tipped around. As Pandora Gilboa comes away with the offensive rebound. There's Mag in the corner. He'll give to Harris. Colin Harris a little bit more comfortable from that range. Now he's going to direct traffic and reset the offense. Like he wanted to clear out. He's got three guys on one side. Mag kind of hanging out in the corner. Lob's going to go into his brother. Ball's lost out of bounds. 
And it's a turnover, and Toledo Christian get it back. And I see Aiden Harris wanting a call from the official. And I said it had been hacked out of me, but your fingertips cause it. Right there he's saying, sir, please call that foul. And a replays tonight again brought to you by Northwest Ohio Recycling in Pandora. Paying top dollar for aluminum, copper, brass, scrap iron, and scrap cars. Call 419-384-3392. And now we've got a foul on the other end of the floor. Yeah, it's one of those things that's kind of crept into basketball, right? Watch the late whistle right here. Butler attacks. He's contacted. The ball comes all the way out to the floor off the bottom of the backboard. But then the foul call. It's almost like officials will wait to see if the shot's going to go in or not, and then go ahead that and call the foul. That is kind of what it looks like. So here is Killon Butler at the least famous recipe chicken free throw line. First one, airborne, rattles around, drops in. Now, a lot of guys that teach free throw shooting would tell you uh, it is important to get there early before the ball's passed to you, eyes on the rim, and then get yourself a rhythm. And I don't know if there's anybody in Northwest Ohio that does a better job than Butler at getting himself a rhythm. Same thing he does every single time and then goes up and gets the shot. So looking for one more free throw here. He's had a quiet night, just five points for him. And it'll stay there. The second one rims out in her free throws tonight. Brought to you by Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphos, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Pandora Gilbo with the basketball as the ball goes out of bounds, but the Rockets down a dozen. 6.40 and counting left to go in this one, our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. <laughs> and a big start to the comeback is a big ultimate outdoor three-pointer, the third of the night by Aiden Harris. Yeah, he's not just a shot taker, he's a shot maker. Nice little jab to get himself free. That's a lead to single digits. Drive is no good out of Hessen. And now Pandora Gilboa with the stop and the basketball back. Colin Harris has it right now. Give it over to Aiden. Aaron, Aiden swings it over to Aiden Morris. Morris stops at that college three-point line. A little Christian doing a great job of playing extended past the three-point line. Even the three that Harris hit a moment ago. He had to use a jab step to get himself free. I believe Nate Mag is going to pick up his fourth foul, the contact there. A tremendous box out on Nasty Nate, taking him out of that rebound. He is going to sit down. They do put the foul up, so that is his fourth. Now, it seems like Nate Mag in the games that you and I have had, he walks into the gym with four fouls, right? <laughs> he is perpetually in foul trouble because he's a physical dude. So Owen Huffman will replace him. Both Harris's and Morris have two. Take a look at Toledo Christian. Chris is playing with three, and Butler has three. There's Kester at the wing. He's going to back up and turn around, go right back, shovels a pass into the corner. Long bounce pass along the baseline. Kester got the first defender to bite on the fake. Now Hessen will bury the ultimate outdoor three-pointer. Well, he had the other three for them. So go ahead and hit another one. Uh, Pandora Gilboa is trying to scramble a bit on defense, trying to run some run and jump trap. And what gets you out of that? Your big fella stepping out behind the arc, but Kester on the other end, trying to draw the charge, goes all body. Take a look at that Northwest Ohio replay one more time. It's gonna be a common foul. They're gonna clean up something on the floor so we can tell you that our game tonight is brought to you by Simplified Flooring. We make flooring simple. 41-29, Toledo Christian leads this one. 5-19 left to go on our scoreboard tonight, brought to you by Sprunger Insurance. They've got locations in Pandora and Bluffton, and they say go Rockets. Good lob on the inbound, and it's going to finish with a good basket, and it looks like Mike Lee is going to take the Metzger Financial Services timeout, so we will as well. Lead down to 10 for Toledo Christian. We'll take a break here on WOSN.
Well, partner, good start for the comeback for Pandora Gilboa. They're able to get the uh, basket. I don't think the Eagle's very happy about it. That is menacing. It's not a friendly looking Eagle. <laughs> oh, he is. Maybe, maybe they, they put the friendly face on him after they win, yeah, right? That's, he's that's got good. his game face on, he's fierce, he's ready to go. Maybe the first time Miles has ever turned down the uh, selfie with the mascot in the Antwerp. Five or six years that we've that, done that this one together. That one Antwerp has scares me too. Little three quarter court pressure applied by Pandora Gilboa. They're down 10, 41-31. We play in this regional semifinal. Five minutes to go. Winner's gonna come back on Friday get the winner of our second semifinal featuring Lima Central Catholic and Old Fort and a couple other announcers I understand are working that one and I think there's one with a menacing look behind me. <laughs> uh, Dave Bowen and Dar Nevergal would do a great job on that one. It's bad enough the size difference between me and Dave. He has to stand behind me while I'm sitting in a chair as if he's not already seven foot five. Well, kind of a tough thing to do, but Pandora Gilboa has no chance, and that's trying to trap and get a turnover out of Toledo Christian. Coach uh, Tyler Bohr is going to call timeout. This is a really good team at handling the basketball. You really have about four guards out there, and even your big Xander Hessen can handle it. So tough road to hoe here for Pandora Gilboa. Yeah, our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Help you plan your financial future. Call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So still 41-31. We played just under five minutes left to go in regulation. And you talked about trying to trap TC. But they're using their speed and their skill with and without the basketball and kind of move that around and really kind of force Pandora Gilboa to chase. Hey, you look at that lineup, like, who do you who do you want to try and trap? There, there, there's quickness everywhere. You don't, you're not going to be able to reach Gaston. You're definitely not going to be able to reach Butler. You know, those guys are awfully quick. Even Hessen, he can just throw over top of it at six foot six. So a really tough thing to ask, but when you're down by 10, you got to take some chances to try and get yourself back in it. Eagles will inbound from side court. We'll throw this one in. Hessen will have it at the wing. Hessen trying to find someone as Kester. Chris with it over to Gaston. Yeah, kind of zoning it up. See if they can get the corner trap. Uh, Toledo Christian doing a wonderful job of spacing this thing out. Right now, good bounce pass along the baseline, but it's mishandled. It's Chris Lawson, it's out of bounds. Pandora Gilboa does get the turnover. Number 11 of the night, uh, charge to Toledo Christian. He just thought that Tyler Chris was trying to lay it up before he even had it, right? One of those, I can't wait for the ball to get in my hands. Next thing you know, it's a turnover. A big opportunity now for the Rockets, try to get this into single digits. Want to give it to the cutter. Ball was knocked away. So Pandora Gilboa will inbound. Now, second time that Carter Kester has shown his basketball IQ. Recognizes that action and just kind of jumps it. Inbound comes in, Colin Harris. Harris will give it to his brother. Corner three <laughs> is up and good as he hits the Number ultimate three. outdoor three-pointer. That is his fourth of the night. Oh, That's the team's fourth as well. Somebody call his mama, because he's a bad dude. Randy, he was flying out of bounds when he nailed that. Three-pointers tonight are brought to you by Alderman Outdoor. Bring resort-style living to your backyard every day with a luxury outdoor space by Alderman Outdoor. Automated pergolas, retractable walls and screens, outdoor furniture, and outdoor kitchens. A huge one there makes it 41-34 as Nate Mag is going to re-enter with his four personal fouls. Now back to regular man-to-man -man here by Pandora Gilboa. Correction, staying with what they just did on the last possession. Down Showed to, a man look, jump to it now. Down to three and a half minutes to play. Kester, runner in the lane, doesn't go. Offensive rebound was in the hands of Hessen momentarily, but when he slid to a stop, he was out of bounds. A really good battle right here. Harris has it through the legs. Hessen steals it. 
but Hessen is going to be on the baseline. And they're going to have to clean up all that sweat. Yeah, official kind of directing traffic. So down to 323 to play. A little housekeeping. Maybe we can hire these guys to come over to our kitchen floors. It's possible. It's Aiden Morris and I'll walk this one into the front court. It's the last time you used your kitchen. <laughs> and a blocky call on the end one. Oh, we talked early in the game about backdoor cuts because of the pressure that Pandora Gil or that Tudor Christian loves to employ on the wing. Pandora Gilbo with a backdoor cut. Gaston gets beat for the old fashioned three point opportunity. Aiden is just a dude, isn't he? Yeah, it gives him 18 now, and now a chance for the three point play as he will hit the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw. Don't look now, but it's just a four point lead. We were at 10 two and a half minutes ago. Pandora Gilboa, every time they've had a deficit all year long, they show character and work themselves back into a, a near steal. And Butler slipped down, but he kept the dribble over to Gaston. Gaston welcomes in the double over to Carter Kester, back to him. Now to Hessen, Hessen doesn't even take a dribble, just wants to get rid of the pumpkin. Now, Gaston is going to fall down, and it looks like a timeout is going to be given to Toledo Christian, and that has the red-clad fans sitting across from us a little irate. Yeah, Mike Lee is going to ask for clarification. I'm not sure anyone has possession of this basketball when the timeout is rewarded. It looks like Mag is going to come up with it when the timeout is given, but you can't say that Gaston had possession either, can you? No, it was, yeah, it was tough. A great look thanks to our Northwest Recycling Replay. And again, our timeouts tonight are brought to you by Metzger Financial Services. Helping you plan your financial future, call 419-225-6067 or visit MetzgerFinancialServices.com. So four point deficit, 225 to go. See the timeout situation, that latest TC one leaves the Eagles with just two, and now Pandora Gilboa is still with four. If I'm TC, I, I go to Xander Hessen, try to get it to him early in his possession, and get Mag his fifth foul. Butler will do the inbounding, lobbed it in. Kester kind of fell backwards. I'm sorry, it was Hassan. And now we're going to get a whistle and a foul. I believe that's going to be the fifth on Pandora Gilbo, and it puts Toledo Christian in the bonus. Now you don't need to get handsy here. You have the trap. And you're going to see the foul right over top. Are they going to call it on Harris? And Harris was reaching over top of Butler. And not a guy that you want to put at the free throw line. So Butler does step to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line here. 2.17 to go. And the officials are going to double check, make sure they have the right guy. Uh, last time Butler was at the free throw line, he missed the last shot, but came up kind of tweaking his elbow and rubbing it. Butler very quiet. Five points so far tonight. Will hit the first one. Extends that lead to five. It'll still be a two possession game, but six, a lot more difficult to, to conquer in a two possession game than a five. Butler does hit them both. Well, if you're Pandora Gill boy, you don't have to think three only here. A lot of time still in this game. So spin getting to the basket with the left hand up and good by Aiden Morris. And it's the Rockets who want to take a Metzger Financial Services timeout. So we'll take one as well. 2.05 to go in a four point game. We hope you come back here in WOSF.
2.05 left to go here in regulation, 43-39. Pandora Gilboa trails Toledo Christian by four in our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard. Partner, this is just the start of regional week here from Bowling Green. We got another D4 semifinal coming up for you tonight. Wednesday night will be the Division Three regional semifinals and Thursday, D2, and we're going to be here. We is in our WOSN family, not me and you, but uh, WOSN is going to be with you all week to bring you all the great regional action as we figure out who the representatives from Northwest Ohio will be down in Dayton. It's Pandora Gilboa nearly comes up with a steal. Now, do the Eagles play keep away? Well, I thought they might have started playing keep away a little bit too early in this fourth quarter as opposed to trying to score, but there's the foul out front by Colin Harrison. It's going to put Butler at the free throw line. Randy, we need to warn everybody, if all the games are this exciting, make sure you take your heart medication, right? These are unbelievable. So here is Colin Butler. He will hit the first one. A smart move by Toledo Christian. You want to be a good free throw shooting team, make sure your good free throw shooters have the basketball at the end of games. And Butler's a guy that should dominate having control of the basketball moving forward. Seven made free throws as a part of a nine point night. Stends this lead 45 34 as we get near a minute and a half to play. Colin Harris comes top of the key. Harris will give it to his brother. Swinging around, Mag is going to take the three. That one's going to be no good. Putback is no good. Hessen in there for it, and he's going to be fouled now. A little battle inside. Hessen's going to say he was just trying to control the basketball as we take a look at the Northwest Ohio recycling replay. Mm. Aiden Harris just that close to making it a four-point game again. They, he has shown his ability to get to the rim off of offensive rebound several times, but I believe that's the second in close bunny on a putback he has missed. It can't follow Aiden Harris, so he has been absolutely sensational on the offensive end here tonight. So Xander Hessen, who has 12 points, will head to the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line where he hits the first. Yeah, absolutely huge free throw right there. Three point possession game now. So Toledo Christian has 14 made free throws. 12 have been by Butler and Hessen. Well, still time left for Pandora Gilboa. Got to get two at some point in time. Corner Morris, runner's going to be good. Mike Lee wants to use another of his Metzger Financial Services timeouts. So we'll take another break here. 46-41, just over a minute to play. We'll come back here in WOSN. Forty-six, forty-one. Toledo Christian leads Pandora Gilboa here. Just a minute nine left to play on our Sprunger Insurance scoreboard as Mike Lee using another one of his Metzger Financial Services timeouts, walk his team through trying to battle back. They're down five, he's got two timeouts left. Yeah, both teams have two timeouts left. Pandora Gilboa is showing that they're gonna go denial here. If I'm TC, I just run Hessen towards the ball and lob it up to him. There you go. Do get it in to Hessen, back to Carter Kester. And if you're PG, don't wait too long. If you don't get the steal right away, you got a foul. And right now, just under a minute to play. See what they elect to do. Gaston has it in his hands, holds high to Hessen, back out to Kester. Looks like Pandora trying to foul, and finally they do with 47 seconds to go. And not a lot of Right answers on who to foul on the floor for Toledo Christian. Kester at 74% from the free throw line. At TC tonight so far, 14 of 18 from the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Kester doesn't have any makes yet, but he will bury the first one. Back 
much. You've got Butler with seven, Hessen at five, Gaston at two. That was the free throw makes. Second one is good. Uh, Got to make it awfully tough for Pandora Gilboa now. You make your free throws, take care of the basketball. Little Christian has done that. It's Carter Kester now with 12. Aiden Harris. Harris draws the contact, doesn't get the shot to fall, but he's going to go to the Lee's famous rescue chicken free throw line. Oh, he did everything he could. He even pushes off right there, the old pull through. It goes through to contact, gets himself to the free throw line. And Tyler Boris is going to look at his guys and say, why are we fouling? I do not allow them to score when they're, the clock is stationary. So Aiden Harris will knock down the first one. And New and Schwann are going to have a seat for Pandora Gilboa as they get a little bit quicker here defensively. Uh, tips the hat on what they're going to do. A double-double for Aiden Harris, 20 points, 10 rebounds. He'll add to it with the uh, second least famous recipe chicken free throw. Now, see what the foul is committed there. It's Owen Huffman will reach out and grab Carter Kester with 29.9 to play. Now, you and I, all season long, we, we've talked about situational basketball. Mm -hmm. I got to give a ton of credit here for Tyler Boris and his team. This last minute has been executed extremely well for Toledo Christian. Taking care of the basketball, now making their free throws. Although Kester misses the first of his two least famous recipe chicken free throws. One more coming here, just a shave under 30 seconds to play. He does hit that one. So Kester splits the pair. He's got 13 tonight. Eagles lead this one by six. Long Alderman Outdoor threes, no good. Rebounds lost out of bounds. It's going to stay. Pandora Gilboa just under 19 to play. Well, I thought that might have gone off the left hand of Mag. Uh, Morris is going to be subbed out on the inbounder. Look for him to try and be involved on a three ball here. Normally he's the guy that inbounds the basketball, but it's going to be triggered by Morris. Colin Harris and Carter Kester now have to be separated. Almost like the high school principal at the prom has to step in between them. As Harris is going to dribble the ball off his foot and out of bounds. Uh, just tried to do too much with it before he caught it. And Toledo Christian now starting to realize that their dream is going to continue for yet another round. So the Eagles, again, the top-ranked team in the state will improve to 26-1 and one as there's one more foul, and they're going to get either Lima Central Catholic or Old Fort right back here at the Stroh Center Friday night, 7 o'clock, for the chance to go to Dayton. Looks like that's going to be the end of the night for Aiden Morris. So now Butler will step to the line. Butler's got seven free throws. Try to add on to this lead with 13.8 to play. Hits the first one. Butler gets one more here from Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. Now he's been sweet at the free throw line. A lot like those Lee's famous recipe chicken desserts that they have there. Butler gets both of them. On one more try, he's new and Schwander in the corner. Three ball's going to be no good. Toledo Christian gets one more rebound. They'll have to run off the final few seconds. The officials all going to stand around. They're going to wait for the clock to strike. Triple zeros in our final tonight. And our opening Division IV regional semifinal will have the Eagles of Toledo Christian claiming a 51-43 win over the Rockets of Pandora Gilboa. We're going to take a timeout. When we come back, we'll head to our State Bank postgame show when we return here on WOSN. Fifty-one forty-three. the final Toledo Christian is going to move on to the regional finals. They claim the victory this evening over Pandora Gilboa. Time now for our post-game show brought to you 
by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com. Member FDIC, equal housing lender. Oh, partner, you got some final numbers in front of you there. And let's break this down and see what the difference was and what is an eight-point win for Toledo Christian. Uh, take a look at Toledo Christian's numbers, Randy. 13 of 20 from the field. Uh, Three-pointers, uh, two of 10. Uh, oh, 13 of 20 from inside the arc. Inside the arc, yes. Of, yeah. uh, two of 10 from uh, uh, three-point, uh, but you take a look at the free throws. Big difference, right? 19 of 25 uh, team rebounds of 19, 11 turnovers. And Pandora Gilboa, uh, 10 of 29 from the floor inside the arc, uh, 4 of 14 from behind it. 11 of 13 from uh, the free throw line. 28 to overall rebounds. They out-rebounded Toledo Christian, but turnovers at 14, a big difference, right? Taking care of the basketball, making right. your free throws. And a big number that Mark Shine pointed out as you take a look at Toledo Christian. Once they got into that bonus, 10 of 12 from the line. So when they had to make free throws, they did. Yeah, the old days of the one and one where there's pressure on you are long gone so you can relax and chill and make those uh, two free throws easy. A time now to select a Stolle Insurance Hustle Award winner. Got a lot of options here. We're going to go with someone from Pandora Gilboa, but with the double-double he put up tonight, has to be Aiden Harris. Uh, Aiden Harris was absolutely sensational. Uh, four three balls that uh, did everything he could to keep this Pandora Gilboa team in it. Brought him back within earshot. 21 points, 10 rebounds, and he showed some toughness because Randy, he was being contacted mm -hmm. all game long, could have wore down, but he was a dude for them. Aiden Harris, fantastic, fun to watch. Yeah, added one assist as well, but could have had a few more, just some uh, misses from close range really did in Pandora Gilboa early. So they uh, fall for the third time this year. You mentioned it, we were kind of joking at the halftime. Pandora Gilbo is going to go 23 and 3, and I don't know if we're going to be welcomed back in that community as uh, we've managed to, with our own eyes and crew, uh, watch and uh, put on TV two of those three losses. Yeah, we were at the Arlington loss for their first one, and unfortunately, we're here for this one. But uh, hats off to them. What a tremendous season at Pandora Gilbo. And Mike Lee and his staff and the team. I had a great year, and hey, Toledo Christian, unbelievable win. Somebody's got to win the state title. Might as well be you. And come as the number one ranked team in the uh, state again, 26 and one. They'll find out here in a little bit whether or not they're going to get either LCC or Old Fort in a, a regional finals. You see the updated state bracket. That's the upper part of what'll be the uh, four-team state tournament. So look forward to uh, to that one as it's uh, Toledo Christian that is going to move on now and get uh, either again, either LCC or Old Ford. Well, partner, it's been a fun year. We've done about uh, well, too many of these to count. It's been... Uh, we, we talk every year that this is a bittersweet moment, right? Mm -hmm. Because it's so much fun. This is a great time of year, great basketball, but it ends, right? And it's so much fun to do it. And then all of a sudden you hit that wall, there's no more games. So I want to thank everyone for making not only our night, but really our year possible. I want to thank uh, everyone here at BGSU for welcoming in our crew as uh, we kind of take over the place for the week with uh, partnerships not only with uh, BGSU, but of course the NFHS and everything else that goes on to uh, put all these games on TV. And I want to thank Kurt and Abby, especially Abby coming over tonight, being an added camera. So good to see Abby, but Curtis has been with us just about the entire season. Well, anytime we get to spend some time with our favorite Beck Abby back is That's always right. good. And thanks to Mark Shine for adding stats for us. Tonight. That's right. Then what can we say about Ken Rieker? Uh, he's the best in the biz, isn't That's he? absolutely right. So Ken's going to stick around. He's going to produce a couple more yet uh, tonight, or at least one more tonight. He's got a couple more yet this week. So you'll see a, a lot of Ken. So, and again, that's been our post-game show brought to you by the State Bank. Contact the State Bank for all of your banking and financial service needs. Visit yourstatebank.com, member FDIC, equal housing lender. So for my partner, Miles Holiday and our entire WOSN crew, I'm Randy Roberts. Thanks for watching, everyone.